Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I am Coach Sherry and this video I am in Richmond, Virginia at the VCU Medical Center's Healing Garden. And this Healing Garden, you can see this VCU Health. This Healing Garden is attached to the Macy Cancer Center here at VCU. This is my second time here, and it is really by chance or by luck or by the grace of God, that's what I'm gonna go with, by the grace of God that I found this healing garden again. The last time I was here was in August of 2010, about maybe an hour before my mother passed. The hospital administrators had taken my husband, one of my dearest cousins, Donna, and myself to this healing garden just before my mother's passing. I didn't know my mother was going to pass. I really had faith and hope that we were going to be able to bring her home. They removed her from her ventilator that she had been on for nearly two years because she was living with ALS, which is Lou Gehrig's disease, and it's one of the most devastating diseases I've ever experienced, have had close contact with, or have heard of. And it was coming to the end and they gave us an opportunity to make that decision to take her off the ventilator because some things had changed and it just wasn't getting any better. Reluctantly, we decided to take her off. And when we did, I noticed that her oxygen levels weren't going lower. And it looked like, you know, she can breathe on her own. So I, I was very hopeful and I told them, wow, we could probably bring her home. This is awesome. What, what do we need to do to get her home? The nurse got a hospital administrator to come in and the administrator <laughs> said, okay, you wanna take her home? Well. Uh, we have to do a step down room first. So we're going to take you to the palliative care unit and that's where she'll stay for a day or two. You can stay with her and then she can go home from there. So I was very hopeful. It was my father, my husband, and my, my dearest cousin, Donna. And they took us on a tour of the palliative care unit. It looked really nice and comfortable. And then, the administrator brought us to this healing garden and left us alone in our own thoughts. And this was one of the most tranquil places I had ever encountered, especially since I had been to this hospital for numerous times or numerous occasions and had stayed here for lengthy amounts of time. I mean, I've stayed here up to six weeks in one stay with my mother and I literally slept in her room and everything for six weeks. And I had never known about this healing garden. And the highway that you see is Interstate 95 going north and south. Let me see if I can show you the sign. I don't know if you can see it through the wrought iron. But that's the interstate. And this healing garden is actually built on top of a parking deck. And I just think it is one of the most amazing things and great use of space definitely for sustainability but it's just a peaceful peaceful place and I just I can't even believe I can hear the cars because when we were here I didn't hear a sound all we heard was the running water and I remember right over there by that swing my husband just laid out on those pavers and my cousin was walking around taking pictures of all the beautiful flowers and at the time all these flowers were in bloom. It was just lovely. And I remember walking around and then I sat on that swing as my husband laid across by my feet and none of us said a word. We just sat there. When we ended up going back to my mother's room after being here for some time, we were so excited to share with my father because you know, he was a florist about how beautiful this place was and we needed to bring him here. And at that moment, I looked up at my mother's oxygen levels and they had started to decrease. And I knew that the time was limited. So we gathered around my mother and 
just watched as her oxygen levels kept decreasing and kept decreasing. We held hands and then it was the end. I really believe that the time I spent here in this healing garden helped prepare me for that. This healing garden was so peaceful for me, so tranquil, and it really balanced me out. Even as you can see, people are coming out of traffic, getting ready to go into traffic, rushing here, going there. It's AAU season, it's a Friday. They just probably got off of work or going to work. There's just so many variables and people are living their lives. But right here, in the midst of all of that, is this beautiful, beautiful space, this beautiful garden that was made to give everyone who encounters it, but most importantly, the patients, peace, and know that healing is possible. I'm here today with my dad, and he has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. He has no symptoms. He is feeling no pain, not experiencing any challenges or changes. But you know how it is when they continuously probe and test and this and that and making sure other things will start to show up. So his kidney, one of his kidneys is being compromised and so they have to do a procedure on him today. And that is why I'm here waiting until I get the call from the nurses that I can go into his recovery room. We're going to be here for another day and I stumbled upon this. I went to get something to eat. We've been here since the, since the morning. I've been working on all day, all afternoon, all morning. I left Charlotte at 4.30 in the morning, got here, took him and set up my office <laughs> in his room and had so much work to do. This is a busy time of year for me for many reasons. You know, it's the end of the fiscal year and family stuff. My daughter's birthday was yesterday. She turned 22 and we had a dinner celebration that was wonderful. You know, just trying to be the mother, the wife, the friend, the employer, the, the confidant, the mentor, the coach, and the person, the best person that I can be for me first, as well as others, and just living my purpose as God has it planned, taking my assignment seriously. But what I want and I encourage you to do today, not this weekend, not at some point, but today, find your special space. It could be in your room. It could be your closet, that special room that you have set aside with a comfy chair in your house. It could be your kitchen, your patio, your back deck. It could be if you're living on the lake, sitting by the lake, if you're by the beach, going to the beach, a park, any place that you find you you receive peace, it's tranquil to you, it's comforting, it's healing. Today, I want you to find that place and take a moment and just feel yourself healing, feel the peace, be grateful for it and thankful. I appreciate all of you for checking out this video, trying to see where I'm at next. <laughs> what is Coach Sherry doing? Ah, I'm always somewhere, but I'm always doing something. So Idle Minds, not over here. But I appreciate you for checking me out. If you've ever been to this healing garden in Richmond, Virginia at the VCU Medical Center, please leave a comment down below and let me know when were you here and what were your thoughts? Did you feel that it was a special place just like I do? Oh, I appreciate you all so much for tuning in. You know what? This has been real talk and real life. And I am Coach Sherry and it's been my pleasure. Until we speak again, stay safe.